Hi everyone, my name is Jurja Mulder and I am leading business development for digital supply chain and sustainability at SAP The Netherlands. Today I would like to introduce you to our latest published research on sustainability, showing that organizations struggle to implement sustainability policies into real practices. Main reason causing problems is the inability to translate sustainability initiatives into real business cases, hence why it's been stated to more intensively involve the CFO into sustainability decision making. Today I will talk about it with our CFO from SAP The Netherlands, Harald Winkler. Harald, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Jorian. So Harald, main question to you as a CFO. What do you think are the main sustainability challenges that companies face today? Well, Jurian, complying with new regulations, investor and consumers demanding more information about sustainability. And these are for me the main challenges we are face companies are facing. Next to that, resolving the tension between the financial impact and the materiality impact of its activities and products is not easy in a period of where companies need to reduce their ecological footprint. Yeah, I, I would say yeah, like shifting between regulations while at the same time taking into account product and activity footprint doesn't sound easy indeed. This we also see in the research where many organizations evaluate it as difficult to measure and analyze the product impact, including financials, and thus identify the business benefits. You can't manage what you don't measure is in my view one of the key sentences here. And this brings me to the next question, Huddled. What would companies need and really need to change in their attitude towards sustainability in order to have a great visibility on all their sustainability activities? Julian, in my view, organizations should approach sustainability much more as a business asset, as something you can measure, capture and analyze. In fact, treating carbon as you treat your financials today. as if they are financials, you are really able to measure on progress and by that achieving a much better translation to value like we do in financials today. By this way, it becomes more transparent to make the link between sustainability and return on investment. You will work towards a situation where your top line, bottom line and green line are meeting each other. That's interesting to talk about the idea on making sustainability metrics measurable like we do today with financial processes. In my opinion, one of the great things in our portfolio is that the data that you need in order to move from averages to actuals on sustainability is often stored in SAP software. Think about build materials, routings and different types of master data, right? I, I agree with that. Uh, for example, thanks to SAP Sustainable Footprint Management, we use the data you mentioned in order to provide real actuals and translate that into financials as well. We are direct integrations of SAP sustainable, Sustainability Solutions. We are able to translate things like energy consumption, waste production, water consumption and other ecological footprints into value. Furthermore, you can As you hear me saying, integration on sustainability metrics is all that matters. Ah, yeah, great, Harold. Um, thanks for your input. In order to quickly recap, I think three topics are very important. Innovation, measurability and integration. With innovation, I mean, in order to stay on top of your competitiveness and customer demand, companies need to make sure that they are innovating in a sustainable way using fact-based data. With measurability, I mean making sure that you measure the data needed in order to steer on your actuals and not on your assumptions. And lastly, with integration, I mean 
making sure that you translate sustainability metrics directly into your core processes like supply chain planning and finance in order to measure results, cost savings and efficiency gains. Yes, Julian, I completely recognize that. And thanks for having me here today. And thank you, Harold, for your highlights and everyone for watching today. So did the conversation trigger your interest? Please have a look at the press article that you can now find in Dutch Tier IT and Sustainability Media. See you.